Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a program called Pro Show Gold. Now, what I like about this program is that it really allows you to create some nice looking video uh, without having to um, record uh, using a camcorder. You can take some uh, photos that you've taken off of your uh, camera, or you can take some stock images that you may have downloaded from a uh, image directory online and uh, you can really create some nice looking videos just out of that um, and so I'm gonna walk you through that I've uh, I've downloaded some images uh, from a, uh, a a photo uh, or an image directory site that I wanted to use there's some stock photos that are uh, royalty free and there's uh, some nice image scenes and I'm using them for actually a project um, so let me uh, to get started I'm going to uh, first click on the wizard and what I, I love this feature because this is going to walk you step by step through the whole process of what you need to do first and then next. So it's going to tell me the first thing I need to do is add some photos. I need to add content. So I'm going to click on the uh, add button and uh, as you can see okay now as you can see I've got a number of photos in this particular folder that I want to take and add to my project. So I'm going to highlight all those by clicking the shift and the arrow all the way down and then just hit return and it's going to take that content and add it to the project. Okay. Okay now on the first slide what I've done is added a quote that I want to start with that's actually just going to show up by itself. And you do that by simply just um, if we were to uh, hit the text button we can add in a uh, just a simple quote or a text uh, some type of text in there before the uh, slide transition so I'm going to click on that uh, I've added that in um, now I want to go next and we want to add some music okay so what I'm going to do is click on I'm going to go to music and I've actually downloaded a clip um, from Pond5 that I think would work, uh, a site called Pond5.com where they have uh, royalty music clips and I'm going to use this one uh, for my background music. I was able to get this one for about two dollars. And uh, so now we move on to the next section which is choosing our theme and this is going to give us the um, transition um, we get different transition sequences or or how these uh, uh, each one of these slides comes into um, uh, transitions to the next. You've got different scenes, different effects. Uh, you've got a. Uh, we'll start with um, picture pages, and we'll see what that actually looks like. Uh, and we'll name this. inspirational video just for the time being and as far as the t the energy level I want it, I don't want this to go too slow but I don't want it to go too fast so I'm going to kind of get it right below the moderate and we'll see maybe just under moderate speed and we'll see how that looks um, we'll stick with the widescreen and then we'll go create and so what it's now doing is creating our uh, slideshow Now if we want to change that out we can go back. If we don't like that sequence we can try something else. We can use a, uh, let's see here, Storyteller. We'll see what that looks like. And we'll keep it the same speed at widescreen and click create. It's going to render that. And then we'll be able to see what the new So we 
can now go back uh, if we don't like that. I think I like the uh, uh, the picture. Let's see, picture pages. But we can we can go through here. Uh, you've got the option of trying all of these out, which I'm not going to do on this tutorial. A uh, number of different uh, um, uh, transitions that you can check out and see which one, which theme works the best for you. You've got birthday themes. Um, romantic themes uh, you could create something for a Valentine's Day uh, and so forth so you've got a lot of different themes to choose from now what I'm going to do now is once we're satisfied on what we want we can uh, move forward and then go ahead and uh, and save this as a project so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just save this project and uh, I'll just save it onto my uh, desktop for the time being and if we want to go ahead and publish it from here we can click on the publish button we can send it directly to YouTube an HD version we can send it to a um, burn it to a disk create a blu-ray if we have a blu-ray burner and uh, or send it to um, uh, create a video for any other uh, application or device like an iPad or, or something like that uh, what I'm going to do is save this because there's some things that I want to do. Um, I want to be able to go into each frame and add some text to the frame. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, once I've saved my project, now I want to go in and make some edits on this. Namely, I want to uh, add some, uh, some text in on some of these slide images. Uh, I do want to add some quotes in on these. So what I'm going to do uh, in order to do that is to click on the slide where I want to add uh, or edit uh, that particular photo frame. And what I'm going to do is simply go over to captions if I want to add a caption in on this particular photo. And it's going to give me uh, pull up a blank caption. Uh, over here to the right will be my caption text. That's where I can add whatever text I want to do, want to add in on that. Now what I can do here is uh, I've actually already got a um, some text selected that I wanted to add in and uh, I can simply go ahead and add that in. Uh, this is a text that I had already copied and I'm just pasting this in. So uh, and now I can go in uh, right under this. I get to uh, kind of resize and to uh, set my caption font for this. So I do want to increase this a little bit. I'm going to pull this over. And as we can see, it's a little large. So what I need to do is start kind of breaking this down a little bit as it appears in the uh, text box. So what I'm going to do is uh, start uh, cutting off section so we can fit it within the uh, size of the uh, screen there or inside of that image and as you can see I'm able to um, I can start uh, resizing that and maybe bump that back up to about 12 on the uh, font size okay now once I have it set up uh, and kind of aligned where I want I can um, I can adjust the font I can make this uh, show an outline or a drop shadow. Um, so I'm going to preview this and we can see exactly what it's going to look like um, through the through the video. So we'll click once we have that in uh, we'll click OK and we can see that uh, with the music playing. So we, as you can see we can kind of just play around with it adding uh, text into each one of our um, of our frames uh, if we want to add one every other and uh, and then we'll go from there and then what I'll do is go in and I'm going to uh, add some text in and uh, once I've done uh, that to each one of uh, my photo frames uh, then I'm going to uh, render this again and we'll look at the final uh, the final outcome